Hey guys, welcome back to Evolving Mail. So, today I'm going to show you how you can get a new key for your vehicle. Pretty cheap. So, if you have two keys and you want a third key, um, you can stick this in there and there's a way to do it. I forget exactly how. I don't have two, so I can't show you this. But I only have one. Because when, when we bought this JK, it only had one. So, um, if you have two, you can make a third or fourth or whatever. But if you only have one, you have to go to the dealer. Not anymore. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm not, I'm not there right now. So I only have the one key. But I went on Amazon. I went on Amazon and for like, I think like $15, I bought a new key. I bought a new key so the but it's not as you can see it's obviously it's not a new key for this one but it's gonna be so we have to go get it cut once we get it cut we got to program it i'm going to show you how to do all that first thing is we're headed to ace hardware to get this key cut and it even matches like i even got her blue <laughs> but anyway so uh stay tuned we're going to ace right now so the reason i'm headed to ace hardware is because this ace hardware by me is um ace is the place um and, and I know that's their slogan, but it's, uh, they really are. They're good. They, they've got some, they've got everything you need. Um, sometimes maybe their prices might be a little bit higher, but they're a family neighborhood store. They employ family and neighborhood people like they all do, but it's, a, it's still the small guy to some degree. Um, a lot of these are, are privately owned and stuff and, and uh, true value or ace or ace true value, however it works. But anyway, so anyway, I'm going to this one because I've had a key cut here before. Um, that was similar to this, um, where it's a, you know, it's a key that, matter of fact, it was a JK key, um, and I had it, had a cut, and she did a good job, the woman that works here, um, she, she's, uh, that's weird, I just saw somebody run over a rat, and they ran over a rat or it fell out of their truck, and this, that would be the second time I've seen a rat fall out of somebody's vehicle. And, and I promise you, I don't live in like, I live in like a nice place, but this is out in the country. Um, it's weird. That's so weird. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure if it fell out of the truck or he ran it over, but I'm gonna, I didn't see it before he fell out or whatever, before it was bouncing. So I'm going with it fell out of the truck, which is number two in this year, in a year, six months or something, about a year. Anyway, so... We're gonna get this cut right now. We're pulling in right now to Ace, and we're gonna see uh, about getting this key cut, so stay tuned. Thank you. Can you cut that for me? If, since it's not our key, I can't. I can't guarantee it'll work. So. You guys have done it for me before it works, so I'm, I mean, it is what it is. I gotta try it. I didn't even know you sold them. That would have been probably easier. Hey, 
and that's why Ace is the place because she, she, she was like, I don't know if it's going to work. You can go try it. So I went outside and I tried it and it opened the door. So it's going to open the ignition. Yes, it should. And I was like, oh, wow. Thanks. I said, told her, I said, you're better than you thought you were. And she goes, well, I'm not going to charge you for it anyway. And I'm like, what? So I got the key cut for free. Ace is the place. I did get some m ms so. Some m ms I got some m ms because these things are awesome. Anyway, I'm headed back now. We're going to hook up the stuff we got to hook up to program the key. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. So I'm going to link, um, I'm going to link a uh, link down in the description as well for the iCar Pro. This is, um, there's a whole bunch of these. It's an ODB, um, ah, dropping it. It's an ODB, um, connector, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connector for your car. ODB is the, um, well, you can look at right there, a ODB diagnostic. So ODB is the onboard diagnostic two. And this goes, every, every car has it, even my motorcycle has it. It goes right there. So we're gonna plug this in right to that. We're gonna plug it in right there. And then we're gonna grab my other phone. We're gonna get my phone right here. And I'm gonna show you just how we're gonna do this. So we're going here and we're gonna go up to my, um, I think this does work as well on Apple, which I'm filming on in Apple right now, but I use my Android for this stuff. So this is ODB center or ODB thing. And you pick what vehicle you have, it's all kinds of vehicles. So look at that Wrangler JK comes right up. So it comes up right here and we are gonna connect right down here, we're gonna connect to our um, you have to connect it the first time, but once you do, it works just fine. So I have to find the one that I am trying to connect to, which I think is the, I think it's the Android V Link is the one I connect on. It says turn the ignition key to the run position. So we're gonna turn the ignition key to the run Dang, maybe. Run position. Okay, turn the air conditioning down so you can hear. And we're gonna connect. We're gonna let it connect. We're gonna let it connect. We're gonna let it connect. And we're gonna wait while it connects. I had to go into the Bluetooth first and then um, find find the the V-Link. It says Android V-Link. I had to find that and then hit pair. I forgot I had to do that. Okay. So then I go back to here. And we wait. Okay, so let me turn the radio off so I don't have any copyright problems. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to adaptation over here. So you're always in modules, starts off in dashboard, modules, we're gonna go adaptation. Comes up adaptation, you'll see the ignition key programming settings. So this is a this is a beta function, see? Um, but ignition key programming beta. So we are gonna hit that. And program ignition keys. Okay, say go. I have no idea. It says air cycle ignition and start one more time. Okay, so apparently I have to start it. So we're gonna. May have lost connection. Let's get out. Let's go all the way out. Disconnect. Yes. Get back in. We're gonna go back into um, V Link. Mission key settings, programming. Son of a bitch, it's not working. Okay, so here's what I actually have to do. I have the actual key in there, but what I needed was the key that I just had cut. So now I'm gonna put that in the run position. It does turn, it turns everything on. And then I'm gonna go back into the app all the way back out disconnect yes we're gonna hit JK then we're gonna go to Android V-Link 
It's going to connect. Then we're going to go to adaptation. Then we're going to go to ignition key settings. We're going to go to pin reading. I'm going to say our target value is that's all we got is that one. Hit OK. Then we're going to hit oh my thumb go. Contorting my hand on this big phone. 5114. 5114 is our is our pin. We're going to get back out of this. We're going to go ignition key programming. Go. It's going to read it. It's going to tell us our warning thing. And we're going to have to put in our pin, which is 51 space 14. Now we have the key that we're trying to program. We're going to hit go. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, so I've got the factory key in. And we're going to go target this, okay, and we're going to read the pin. We're going to do this a couple times. All right. All right, so I'm going to restart the app. I'm going to restart the app. Got the factory key in. So, programming, beta, read it. Fifty-one fourteen. Okay, so now I'm going to take this key out, put the old, new key in, put it in run. Fifty-one fourteen. I'm gonna back out of everything. Disconnect. Reconnect. V link. Adaptation. Program your key. Tells me to do this again. Key in. I opened the door so it can reset everything. Now I'm going to close the app down, start it up. Oh, to be contortionist. Why this isn't working okay so I just kept doing it and doing it and trying it and trying it and trying it and it says program ignition key was successful continue to program another JK man I just kept what I did is every time I got that error I just kept going back and it took like two two times three times in a row I think to finally get it so it says done so i turn this off see if it runs for longer than a couple seconds Look at that, it's running. So the key, and I hit this. It works, unlocks. Panic works. So that's all it took was putting the key in, putting the key in, programming ignition key, hitting that. Put the number in, 5114, crap, 14, go, hit go again, 
it says error, ignition, recycle. So recycle, turn it off, turn it on, just go right back, try it again. Dude, my fingers suck. Do it again. So error, cycle. Do it again. Just keep doing it until you get it. Just keep doing it until you get it. Last time it took me three chances, tries. That's pretty much it, guys. You just got to keep doing it and doing it, and um, it'll eventually it'll go through. It's just a it's a beta uh, function of this. Most of the JetScan stuff works flawlessly, but this is still in beta because they haven't perfected it yet. But it does work. You just can't. You know, I was getting frustrated. Just keep trying it. It'll work. What do you have to lose? I mean, it's something to do. It's, it gives you an extra key, and you can save a bunch of money. So just keep trying it, and that's right. that's it. That's all I can say. Okay, guys. So that's it. That's it for the video. I just want to say that this key is working splendidly, and uh, there's no no issues with it. Now this this Jeep, yeah, blah. This video, sorry, this video was done on a Jeep Wrangler, a 2016 Jeep Wrangler JK. Um, but this works on a majority of vehicles. This particular um, key is the same as any Dodge vehicle, pretty much. So it works on a bunch of different vehicles. I know Dodge for one. Uh, the J Scan app works. You can try it out on other video on other vehicles and see what it'll work on. Um, not just Jeep, but also you know Challengers, Chargers, um, probably the 300. Probably any you know. I don't know, Dodge vehicles. Just try something. I know it does work for Chrysler, Chrysler and Dodge vehicles. Check out the JScan app. It's a great app for the money. Uh, you go to the dealer, you're going to pay big money to have this done. Not just to have it done, but have it cut and have it programmed. Here it costs me uh, $15 for the key. And I think it was like $20, $22 for the for the JScan um, VIN. Uh, JScan app's free, but the VIN, whatever. And then you got to buy that little like uh, USB thing. So 25 uh, for that, plus 15, so it's um, 30, 40, and then um, 40, 50, so 60 bucks or whatever. But I've already bought all that stuff, so I use it on multiple multiple vehicles. So just for this vehicle, 15 for the key, 20, so 35 dollars after I because I already have the other thing. So pretty cool, you know. And if you really want to be cheap. You can buy the thing on Amazon, program your key, whatever, return it. So it'll cost you $35, whatever. So, hey, thanks, Amazon. Anyway, thanks for checking me out, guys. Please hit like and subscribe below. Um, as always, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, leave comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me how dumb I am, how I'm not dumb, how great I am. But anyway, yeah, I just really appreciate it. I appreciate the support. Please check me out on Instagram. Also, TikTok, Facebook, Evolving Mail, uh, at Evolving Mail on Instagram. But anyway, guys, again, really appreciate it. And as always, peace out.